Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Luna. I hope you're all doing well. And today I thought I'd do another challenge video, um, as I've not had the chance to get out of the minute to pick up any new castings and I've had no new stuff come through the post. And I didn't really want to do a wheel swap today, as I've been doing quite a few at the minute, so I thought, why not, let's do a challenge. So anyway, the challenge that I'm going to set is going to be called Black and Blue with Two. A uh, bit of a catchy, rhymy name, but it is what it says in the tin. It is to show your black and blue castings. So basically show any black and blue cars that you'd like to show as long as they have two doors. And I've got about, I'm just trying to look. I've got about, uh, I'm not sure, about 12 to 15 to show. So I'll get straight into it. But um, show as much as you want, 5, 10, 15, 20 um it's up to you but as long as it's black or blue and has two doors so anyway let's get straight into it so the first car you can see in the background is the 36 um v8 ford standard um, from the dick tracy movie from the 1990 dick tracy movie um this is from a company called by Ertle. i believe this is by Ertle. so in the movie this is the car that dick tracy supposedly drove so pretty cool and it is an Ertl. And I've got the whole set of these from the movie. I've got all the movie cars of the Dick Tracy films. Dick Tracy films, sorry. And they're quite old. These have been these were blistered when I got them for over 25 years. Because obviously the film came out in 1990. So these are quite old now. But anyway, so that's a good way to kick off the first car. So obviously it's black and it has two. So that will be the first car. And then the second car is going to be one from Hot Wheels. Let me just check on the date. It is the Ford Shelby GT500, <clears throat> which is a pretty cool little casting. But again, as you can see, it's blue with two. So pretty straightforward, but that is a pretty cool little basic casting. And then I'll we'll just put that over there a second. And then we'll do another one from the black side, so to speak, or the dark side. And it is going to be a 1989 Chevy Blazer in black. Obviously with two doors. So again, it can be cars, vans, trucks. I'm mainly worried as long as it's got two passenger doors. I'm not worried about lift gates and stuff. But this is a pretty cool the piece. This is from Greenlight. I believe this was from the Ace Ventura movie. Um, not that I remember seeing it in the Ace Ventura movie. But I mainly got this because it does this. As most of the Greenlight Chevy Blazer castings do, I believe. But it is a cool, cool piece. So I do like that a lot. Um, let's just stick the roof back on. So that'll be piece number three. And then we'll go in with a, another one from Greenlight. So obviously this needs no introduction really, but it is obviously the original Bigfoot, Bigfoot one. And I think this is a Ford F250, I believe was the original truck. But very, very nice piece. I've had this a fair while now. Obviously lensed inserts for the front lights and loads of separate bits, separate bumpers gas tank going on fuel cell sorry batteries but very cool piece and there's a little look let's see if it says what it used to be or what it was based on it was uh, no can't see it but i'm sure this was in 1974 yeah i'm sure it's an f250 but anyway if i'm wrong you can always let me know in the comments <coughs> so that's number four and then we'll go with another one from Greenlight. And it is the 67 Pontiac GTO from the Black Bandit range series. Um, this is back early on. This is quite an early piece from the Black Bandit range, I believe. But I do like this. I like the way it goes from the black sort of gloss into the black matte. And you've got them sort of like ghost flames down the side. But this is a really, really nice casting. It's got some really cool interior detail as well a menacing looking car and it's also got a nice little detailed engine so 
so that is a cool little piece and, you can, and like i said another little bit is there's that little green peg which i i think they used to do on a lot of the older green lights i can't remember if that, now what i can't remember if that means it's a chase piece or if that just is just what they used to do on the older greens i think it means it's just what they used to do on the older green lights but i can't remember now and then back with another piece from the blue side so we're going to take a look at this e-type jaguar from matchbox basic this came in a five pack that i unboxed a while ago not that long ago actually with the chrome interior and they've done such a good job with the gaps here it even looks like the bonnet opens but it doesn't that is quite a nice simulated gap but very nicely done nonetheless painted rear door tampo details jaguar on the license plate so that was pretty cool too so that is piece number six and then we'll go for another one from green light which will be this i believe 77 pontiac trams am or in this case fire am and i can't remember the name of the guy but the guy that designed the car um that was in smoking the bandit was the same guy that designed this look to this particular car but um just need to get a drink of water a minute tickly throat it's better excuse me yeah very nicely done obviously so as you can see it's got fire arm on it nice rear details to it uh, and this has got a pretty cool underbonnet detail as well so you can see all the engine there which is pretty cool. I'm just trying to see what it says on the side there, on the top of the shaker hood. I don't know if this will make it. Hang on, two seconds. It just says TA, I think. Whatever. But anyway, it is a cool piece, anyway, nonetheless. So that is piece number seven. And then back with Hot Wheels again. And we're going to take a look at this little 58 Plymouth Fury from Hot Wheels which is one I've been meaning to do a detail on for a long time, but as usual, I always forget that I've got it. But at some point, I will be doing something with this. But it fits the purpose of this challenge because it's obviously blue with two. So that is pretty cool. And then we got another one from... Oh, sorry, not another one. We got one from Majorette. And it is the um, Toyota Celica GT. And I think it's a Mark 1 Celica GT. I think it's one of the I think it's the older. So a little look, see if it's set. I can't remember now. Uh, da, 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 da. Toyota Celica GT Coupe. No, but it's still cool anyway. You don't see these very much on the road now. You don't even see these much in model scale. But that is a cool piece from Majorette. The usual Majorette suspension. And obviously it has opening doors. And it is very nicely done. So that will be, I've lost count now, uh, one more from Matchbox, that's a lie actually, we've got a couple from Matchbox, but this is one I've done a recent wheel swap on, as you can tell, remember from a few videos back, but this is the Jaguar XK140, so that is pretty cool, and as I said this is one I've done a recent swap on, so I think it turned out pretty well. And then we got one more from Matchbox now. And this is the 41 Cadillac Series 62, possibly. Let's have a little look. Uh, yeah, 41 Cadillac Series 62. Cool little casting. So, and again, it's got the two doors and it's black. And then the last piece is going to be one from Tomica Premium. The Ferrari F40, and uh, obviously a suspension like the Majorette, but very, very nicely done with the red interior. Well, you can see it's got the red bucket seats, but very, very nice. And you've got some nice engine detail. So that will be it. Let's just check how many did I show. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I showed 12. So, usual fashion, have a go, don't have a go, it's fine. 
it's just a bit of fun and um, like I said it's going to be called the black and blue challenge with your black and blue with two but uh, anyway with that I'll say uh, please like share and subscribe thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all very soon